my amazing cast and crew and ensemble and everyone for helping out with this production because I'm just one person. I, I thought I could do everything, but we all know that happened two years ago and I was completely wiped into the ground. So I would just love to extend my, my immense gratitude already to my amazing crew and the band and the cast and ensemble and just everyone. Thank you so much for making this happen. Uh, that's all for me. If you're interested in further productions, you can follow Rush Productions at uh, on Facebook, Rush Theater Productions, on Instagram, Rush Productions LTD, and on Twitter, Rush Theater. Now, without further ado, here is Alberio. The, the 
Masterson, they have refined taste. <laughs> Boring! Holly! Hey, don't worry. When they get here, I'll be on my best behavior. I'll talk about gas prices. You don't drive. <laughs> the mortgage. Oh, don't remind me. <laughs> Do you think 40 glasses will be enough, or should I grab more? We can always grab more later. And besides, how quick do rich people drink wine, honestly? <laughs> By the way, I meant to ask, who are all those folks you asked me to invite? I barely recognized half the names in your black book. <laughs> Acquaintances? People I ran into in the street? I, you know I don't exactly have a social circle, so I had to recruit, sort of. <laughs> oh, house filled with people we don't know. That's safe. They're not complete strangers. I had conversations with at least half of them. <laughs> oh, well, that's all fine then. Just remembered, actually. One of the people that you don't know out of the group of people you don't know that she'd be late. I think her name was Sarah. Okay, thanks. No problem. Are you thinking about the Mastodons again? Do you mean the Mastersons? That's what I said. Right. No, no, I'm not. back to what I used to do. This is my method of income now, and whether it's ideal or not isn't on the table. The job market. It's this self-contained cyclone, and I happen to be in the eye of the storm. That's just how it is, so just work with me here, okay? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Let's finish setting up. Sorry for... Okay, it's okay. Let's get this stage ready for your big appeal. How did the rest of that song go? It felt like it was helping you, looked like it was helping you relax. Uh, do you know where my black book is? I think it's in the cellar, why? I just have a feeling I forgot something. Sharon Chambers. There's nobody here to let you go away! Oh, why now? Why, God damn it, why? Uh, Chambers, who is that? Uh, nobody, just help, help me, help me, help me. Uh, Which is why I'm not moving this barricade, and I'm not opening the door! Should we call the police? 
Oh, that's the last card I want to add on this. We just gotta wait it out. Okay. Wait it out. Uh-huh. He'll run out of steam and leave or something. I Chambers! Oh! Are you ignoring me? Oh, you better not be ignoring me. Just ignore him. Yeah, you are ignoring me! Oh, <laughs> bad move, little buddy. Now that's a bad move. You know what? I'm just gonna wait until I finish the final draft. And you know, maybe you wait for a better time, but I'll make exceptions in the case of family. Now there's a door here. It's closed because my brother is a small, sniveling coward. <laughs> he has underdeveloped forearms because he doesn't hit the gym like me. I'm small and so smart. I'm going to break your door down. Property damage. <laughs> oh! 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 oh boy. I see your songwriting has improved leaps and bounds, Shirley. It's a rough draft, okay? You know what? I really don't need this. Nope. It wasn't easy trying to find you, little brother. Even if with the invitation I had to go asking around town like a Girl Scout. No, I gotta hand it to you, too. You really did manage to wipe yourself off the face of the earth. Managed to disappear entirely. Well, I can't even blame you either. Because I did the exact same thing if I went and stole from my aggressively more handsome older brother. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, yes, you do. Yes, you do, and you know it. And you know that I know it. And you know that she knows that I'm really confused now. Let me go. But you're still a thief! Why else would you be hiding from me? Oh, I don't know, because you're completely out of control! It's called stage presence, you understand. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Yeah, what's up? What exactly is Chambers supposed to have stolen from you? Excellent question. Spark really got there. Oh, is this she just a gem? Oh, she is. Thanks. Oh, and you know, speaking of gems, give it back! I don't know what you're talking about. I'm still wondering what we're talking about! Alberio? My ruby. Where is he? I, I don't know. You probably ate it and forgot. Yeah, no funny. We both know I stopped eating rocks years ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mario, I'm like a ruby star. I thought you said it fell from the sky during the studio shower, and that's why I came home charged to a crit. So you do have it! Well, actually... No, I don't! I'll get it out of my house! Oh, no. No, I had to go up through Hell's back door to get that stone. And I'm not leaving until I get it back. Even if I had to tear this disgusting place apart, break my ugly brain. No, 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 no! Oh, I really hope you're not too attached to these expensive, delicate looking wine glasses. Oh, don't you dare! They're matching, Zach! Check this out. Oh, oh, no! no! Stupid gorilla! Oh, 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 oh. What is this? Stratino Noir 2015? Are you serious? Hey, with your permission, I'm having a beef platter and beef was great with penal as long as it's not so fatty! Oh yeah, sure. But Pino needs to age at least five years. You might as well be serving them cool aid. Wait for my wine drink. Oh, don't you pigeonhole me, you box wine enthusiast. You take it! <laughs> oh, it's the Macedonians! What? <laughs> She's the Macedonians. <laughs> ah! oh, What's going oh, on? Geez. Nothing much. Only that tonight's all about impressing his bosses. They're high class. Well, I could have told you that was an end like Masters. I bet they have a fleet of yachts. So many saw the gold. I bet they, I bet they, I bet they die in every lunch with Jeff Bezos and whatever the eBay owner is. I don't know. Oh, oh and I bet they were so devastated that they only used Porsche. Oh! It's actually a Bentley. I'm mistaken. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Can we all just relax for a second, please? No. We'll talk after the party, I promise, but for now, can you go wait in the cellar? Oh, are you worried that I'm going to go embarrass you? Because you could do that just fine on your own. Riker, please. It's not my party, so why don't I mind if I make a mess of it? Go and I'll... I'll give you what you want! Oh, no, there you go, Bobo, that's what I want to hear. Lyle. 
Have the other guests not arrived yet, or is it just us? Uh, uh, well, you're just a bit early is all. Kind of seems to be a theme. <laughs> but more folks will arrive eventually. Well, I'm looking forward to meeting some new people. Ha, so am I. Uh, can I get you something to drink? Wine? Uh, sparklers? <sighs> Liquor cabinet. <laughs> oh, I got a lovely, uh, uh lovely, uh, oh, Pinot Noir. <laughs> I'm a bit more of a white wine drinker and a whiskey for Lyle. Uh, both more single malt scotch whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> if you have. Of course, absolutely, right away, Matt. Holly will get that for you, Lyle. I just forgot to put out some white wine, so I'm just gonna go grab some. Shindig instead of just singing one song and being done with it? Yes! Look, look, let me deal with the party and then you'll get the gem after the party, I promise. It's generous of you. You don't even want it bad enough. I'm realizing some things are more important now. Do we have a deal? Silence, man. I don't decimate this little festivus of yours. Can you give me back my Alberio? Sire swear. <laughs> so, are you gonna stick around? <laughs> I'm letting you use all my hard earned charisma to charm the normies? I don't think so. I'm pretty enough to razzle and dazzle this place top to bottom, but uh, got my priorities in my front pocket. No reason for me to stay. There you are, neighbors. And who is this? Hi. I, too, enjoy Mr. Brightside by the Killers. <laughs> we have so much in common. That's just what happens when you have great taste. And great company. Laura Masterson, you were going to make me blush. <laughs> Already on your way there, wouldn't you say, Mr. Ecker? White wine buddies? White wine buddies. <laughs> you and your brother are not very alike, are you? Like hot and cold. Cold does not exist. There's only endothermic and exothermic. Hot <laughs> and not hot. There is no cold. Like night and day then. Time is an illusion. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get you another drink, Lyle? Whiskey, please. No problem. So, how are things? Things? You know, uh, family, friends, hobbies, work. You do not know much about my life, so you have no point of reference. Uh, well, I work has not been much different, though. Oh, I heard it's been getting a ruffled in head office. Ruffled? Uh, the market's not what it used to be, so things are getting choppy. Ruffled. Choppy. Say what you mean, please. Oh, 
Well, I mean, the market's not what it used to be, so if people are losing their jobs, then it's... What are you doing? Uh, I, I... Three. Three ice cubes. Why? To keep your drink cold? When they all melt, the flavor will be diluted. It will taste like the whiskey they watered down during Prohibition. I do not think that tasted very good. Do... <laughs> do you think it tasted very good? No! No, 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 of course not! I'll just... Just give me a second. <laughs> so that's when the leader of the Universal Group said, like, there's no way that you could write a new play and pass it off as another Shakespeare. And I said, well, who do you think the one who just made two billion on Romeo and Juliet, two electric boogaloo is? <laughs> <laughs> It's 100% true, I swear to you. That is absolutely wild. Well, you run into all things like that in my line of work. And what is it that you do exactly? Hey, well, I'm a traveling singer and songwriter. Ooh, ooh, an idea? We should all go out to karaoke at some point. I mean, I would love to hear you sing. Well, if the fates permit, I could pull out the stumps right here, right now. And... But it's hardly my party. Oh, oh no, 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 hey, no, no. You can't just hold out on us like that. I hate to bring all that attention to myself. Oh. <laughs> I'm afraid that I must insist. Please, Riker. Oh. I must say something. Mm -hmm. It's awfully hard to say no to you, Lord Masterson. Very well. Thank you very much. I call this one <laughs> my hands and yours. Caesar, <laughs> what in every god's name are you doing, Riker? Well, I was about to charm my newest compatriots in true wit and form, but he thinks you have apprehensions. Oh, don't you try and use your crowd voice on me. I'm surprised you remember what it sounds like. You were going to say it. Yeah, and? You said it sore. Oh, chambers, chambers. Singing isn't always singing. You know that. Besides, don't you trust me? <gasps> I've never been so insulted in my life. And you know you wasted a perfectly good time stop on nothing, right? Sister, <laughs> Dad did not put us through school for you to call it a time stop. Well, you can lecture me all you want about it once we have an hour for it to recharge. Look, all I wanted to do was sing a couple tunes, get some life into this party, maybe dance. And besides, we're not in harmony, so nobody's in harm's way anyways. Have a little more faith in my word, wouldn't you? Okay, fine. I overreacted a little. Uh, yeah, you stop time. <laughs> yeah. You okay? Fine, I'm fine. What's going on over there? <laughs> I'm handling it. Right. Well, if you don't mind, I'm getting back to my tunes. All right. But remember, the song is your hand and mine. Whatever. One, two, three. More so. Could you believe it? I have forgotten to warm up. Oh, imagine somebody like me going upon my vocal cords while forgetting something like that. Talk about amateur hour. <laughs> Sorry about the wait, Lila. Here's your drink. Thanks a million. I needed something to warm me up. Oh, that is its spot. Hey, thanks, Mort. Oh, now where was I? Oh, right, yes. <laughs>
shake your hands and listen to it sway. Take a plunge, take a risk, listen to it sway. Chambers are serving up. I doubt anybody would taste the difference, anyways. Oh, I'm not much of a hard liquor drinker, but I'll take your word for it. Is that a you thing or a him thing? What do you mean? Uh, James is never a fan of my party spirit or my party spirits. God, I'm funny. <laughs> <laughs> so, why the hell do you think I switched over to white wine? Aw, uh, not a commitment. You make sacrifice for the people you love. Aw. Uh. So, how long is it going to take? Well, it depends. Are you going to help? <laughs> oh, I hate chores.
I guess not all sirens are meant to be terrors. Some are just meant to be gorgeous. So you are like Chamber said. Oh, honey, only one of us is gorgeous. No, I meant half siren. Oh yeah, that. What did he tell you? No, I don't think he knows that I know. I mean, he's been right there all my life, but he didn't really try to hide it until I was about eight and my parents disappeared. What, they just up and disappeared? Yeah, Chamber said they were taken away by a twister. Right, okay, we'll go with that. Anyway, I guess he didn't think I would remember him being a magical thing, but it's hard to forget a voice like that. Well, I mean, I'm better than whatever. Oh, <laughs> are you, though? Oh, so this is how you kid. Yeah. This is how you joke around, right? Yeah. Oh, well, let me tell you something, Barry. I've never been so insulted in my oh. life. I'm just kidding. Come on. Tell you the truth. There's a lot I want to ask you. Talking about myself, and that's something I can get behind. <clears throat> okay. Right. So you see, my mom, she was a full-blooded siren. A real sit on the rocks with a weird amount of seaweed in her hair type. Oh. She had a voice that'd make you walk right into traffic. Huh. Figure she'd fall in love with a deaf street artist in the 70s. Your father was deaf? Deaf as a fool to his lawyer. That always used to say to us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you use sign language! That I do. Well, kind of had to learn quick after uh, mom passed and dad was alone to keep me and Sharon out of trouble. We did use it to pass some notes on your noses back in the day, but I don't want to hear about all that. What? Of course I want oh, You like doing that, don't you? What can I say? I love a good cook, man. <clears throat> man, I oh, really I didn't practice this next song at all, so you're going to improvise the whole thing. If I break down and start crying, just play me out. So you go from a B flat major, F sharp minor, 22, 33. Hey! Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I can remember my brother and I, we were in trouble. I see our parents were parents, kept us inside in a bubble. Now you see, Dad didn't say much, and we learned to speak in silence, but Mom, Mom told us to sing her voice in her song. Tried his very best to keep us safe and sound. It was hard. It was wrong. Too quiet. He'd hope we'd forget. He'd hope we'd stay low. And we did. But not for long. Then Dad, he died too. But I really don't want to unpack that. <laughs> Leaving just Jerry and I. No silence, no rules, and on with Bob's tool. The brothers of song left it all behind. That's so cool. We through the towns in style and song. Hypnotized cops did no right, did no wrong. Call us your heroes, or get down and pray. No one on Backs to the wall. They were the ones. 
Now, but that doesn't mean that. I wasn't here keeping us both alive. So when the time came and bombs were running through town, I was inclined to let the heat die down. We found a safe place, your mom and dad's place. Little did I know that everything Up and leave. Chamber's heart was stitched to his sleeve. Family is family, but sometimes you choose who you will be. Who you will lose. Who you will gain. Who you will lose. Oh, now, since that encounter, Brother and I went on separate ways. I left and kept singing. How could I not? In chambers, he stayed. Though I can kind of see how it's kind of your fault. But hey, what can you do? You see a man. Sirens a sound, but what if you're not one but your more with two sets of rules and life can be cruel when you're one half It's hard. Oh, <laughs> Thank Yeah, straight up just swallowed them. 
You say that like someone shoved you through the mail slot one day. Aw, oh, I like that so much better. Uh, someone's late, Holly, could you? Yeah. Thing. 
Go ahead, you don't say it. Oh, thank God. Did I miss something? Uh, Laura, are we firing chambers? Firing chambers? Why on earth would we be doing that? Exactly. Why would we, Riker? I don't know, the economy? Why are you asking me? You brought it up. Chairman Chambers is one of the hardest working brokers I have ever met in my entire life. His turnaround is incredible. And even though we have had to make cuts for the survival of the company, laying him off has never been on the table. I guess that'll be a relief to him. <coughs> Around 30 seconds until he finds something else to worry about. <laughs> he is under the old contingency plan. Always loves keeping the car running out back, you know what I mean. I'm not like that. I'm more of a hop on my feet and see where it takes me kind of guy. Uh -huh. More fun that way. You know, you are right. You are fun. Hey, go with him. Why make a new world? That is why he gave you the necklace, right? A contingency plan? I don't like to think of it like that. But it's such a shiny thing. Sorry, well, what necklace? Oh, he called it Alberia. <laughs> <laughs>
proximity to one another, appearing as one to the naked eye, but easily distinguishable from telescope. That's right. <laughs> now, I guess he gave it to me to stay on my good side, though he really didn't have to try so hard. It is a bit of a big piece, though, and I'm not usually one to flaunt, but it was such a generous gesture that I said to myself, you know, to heck with modesty, I put it on for tonight. And I think I'll wear it rather well, wouldn't you say? <laughs> <laughs> Riker? What? Oh, yeah, no, oh, yeah, it looks great on you. Great necklace. Lovely name for it. Um, if you'll excuse me, I just gotta go run down and uh, strangle somebody. Oh, Riker, what are you doing? Riker! Alberio, my Alberio is hanging on the neck, and so Norma, you barely know, like a piece of costume jewelry. She worked at the party? You promised. You promised that if I played nice and kept my hands off your pathetic little shindig, I'd get it back. Now tell me how that, how that happened exactly. I, I would have figured something out. I would have. I would have. Oh, you want to take it back? Well, you can't do that. Because I'm going to piss off your bosses, follow Laura. And making them happy is the most important thing to do in your life now, isn't it? Not your word. Not your pride, but not your family! A little while ago, it was just, uh, just you and me and Dad's old Camaro driving around in a world that wouldn't have this one way or the other. And all they want is a seat at the table. They're looking boots for people that don't even want you there. You're more than that. You're more than that, and you know it. That's not what this even is. Why are you defending them, Sharon? Why are you trying to be something that you're not? There's a fist around your neck and it's your own hand. It's your own goddamn hand. You know what? I don't even need this. I'm sick and tired of being lied to, being pushed aside by somebody who doesn't even have the guts to call himself a siren anymore. I'm taking what's mine. Why don't you stay here and stay quiet? We both know how mom died right here. The act, the silence, Alberio, it's all true, but if you think I did any of it for myself, you're wrong.
Lying to yourself won't last For you pretend to be She's somewhere lost that I can't reach Please come back to me Yeah. Did you know it was magic? No, I didn't. <laughs> There's no hiding what's rightfully mine. 
And when I have it in my clutches again, I'll set about my ultimate goal. There's always an ultimate goal with your type, isn't there? You obviously know nothing about ambition. And your name's stupid. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, uh, we can come to some kind of agreement. We don't, we don't want to fight. Wait. Director, why don't just this one speak on your behalf? Uh, for your information, I speak for myself. Oh, no, he doesn't. Why quiet you. She's got a holly. We have to do something. Will, just give me a minute. What if we just give it to Oh, that'd make a great present, wouldn't it? We could get a nice little box and a little bow, too. It's the only bargaining chip we've got. Yes, but we thinks you're underestimating my poker face, Sharon. What do you say? I'm saying hold on to your cards. Hey, Sarah. Sear shot. Yeah, whatever. What's this uh, ultimate goal of yours? <laughs> my gift to the world to silence all other sirens and carry the title for myself. Proudly. Righteously. The soul of being worthy of such power. Yeah, that's uh, exactly why it's staying here with us. Okay, all right, that idea, fine. Yeah. Excuse me, I don't remember giving you an option. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. It's not my fault it looks so good on me. I guess this just isn't your day. On the contrary. I thought I was going to have to shake down all these humans one after the other. But going head to head with another siren, especially you. Now that sounds like a lot more fun. Maybe trust me. Like this all night. It's right here. Did I hear the first chance again? You can't take her on by yourself. Are you gonna help me? Get out of here, she doesn't know you.
Can't dream of it. I'm just cultivating a suspense, getting you a false sense of security. Oh, is that what you're doing? Well, bravo. I feel very secure. Don't get used to it. You don't seem to have one. Oh, and I think I'm content to keep it that way. Chop, chop. Sticks. <laughs> well, you certainly sound like some kind of a big shot, though I've never heard of you. 
That's because I am. I'm a very big shot, much bigger and badder shot than Riker ever was. There's no point in wasting your energy. She's <laughs> <laughs> only half sorry anyways, hardly worth your time. That explains why he was such a bore. <laughs> you. In any case, I, the Siren of the River Styx, will be your opponent. I'm the only one who knows where Alberio is, so you'll have to go through me to get it. Now you are a light. You have a true sense of the stage, Sharon Chambers. A real mastermind behind this entire operation vibe. Power. Confidence. <laughs> Reminds you of all the other sirens I've torn apart. Did you know in the end a lot of the quiet ones weren't that different? They all died screaming. I wonder what it'll sound like when I tear your voice from its throat. I'm prepared to suspend your finding out. <laughs>
I've been taken far away from here, search of the screen, and never return. What, did you read that off the back of a lush so far? Breaker, are you all right? I'm fine, I'm fine. Stop fussing. You're bleeding from the ears. Oh, hey, it stopped. <laughs> what are you still doing here? Saving my family, obviously. Oh, yeah, obviously. I'm a little surprised you can take on Sarah by herself. Well, I... Chambers? Holy, oh, holy. It's over, you're It's okay, it's over now. Over? What happened? Holly, you should have seen it. It was like Abba, but with more punching. Punching? <laughs> 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 Come on, I'm trying to make you look cool. Please. Oh, you can tell me all about it later. I think I need to lie down for 14 hours. My head is killing me. It makes sense. Sarah got really into your head. You can go in the cellar. Lyle and Laura are in there. Sarah's kept getting you'll be safe. What are you going to do with Sersha? No. Figure something out. Hey, Chambers. Yeah. I'm so happy you're okay. You're a terrible singer! <laughs> <laughs> oh! A siren with a heart full of family! Isn't that just hilariously disarming? <laughs> Sharon Chambers, siren of the river Styx. Unconditional love makes the perfect fate. So warm, so soft, so easy to lie to. No, let her go! There's no need to yell. She can't hear you. And soon, nobody will. For the record, I think you two are a pair of abominations. But I will take over to knowing that silencing you will both and get rid of an obnoxious human. Now, <clears throat> hold still while I make your insides outside. Sarah! Right, what are we gonna do? What are, she's a full-blooded siren! She has a beer here. We don't, we don't stand a chance! Chambers, listen to me. What's life worth if I can't protect my own family? Nothing, nothing. It's not, it's not worth the damage. Chambers, listen to me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry about Alberio and the silence and everything. I'm just. Chambers, I'm, listen! It was never about Alberio! No, I mean, yeah, sure, part way, I guess, but it's. When you and Holly went away, um, I didn't know what I'd, uh, didn't know what I'd see you again, and when the, when the letters stopped coming, I thought you'd, uh, I'm just so happy to see you again. I'm just proud of you. Taking care of your family like I would have. Uh, I'm the one who's sorry, like, for the. Party for the singing for the just like sorry so apologize for singing. I don't want to get you all drunk. Don't leave me anymore, do you? Don't say that. You sound pretty sure yourself with a rock around your neck. That thing's got some punch. It made sense to use it against her. Why did I think of that? Nobody ever does. Don't beat yourself up about it. Don't worry for that. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. That's nice. This is your one last forever. So it drops, but the cypher siren with the magical musical MacGuffin while ready to turn us into beef jerky. Yeah. Are we going to stand a chance? No. And I want to see what she is. That'll burn with the shot. Give <laughs> me Riker, how, how'd that song go? The one you tried to use to get into the cell? Well, I mean, that was kind of the lyrics guy, but you know about it. Where are you going? What else can we do? We can't beat her, Sharon. I know. Muscle.
thought of losing it all for what's right. There's no time to lose, there's no time to pray. Nothing's ever won without a fight. It's the siren song, it's the siren's way. And I won't stop singing until I die. Somehow, 
Did I die? I don't know. Okay, come on, last thing. Oh. You do that. Christ, I'm exhausted. Oh, Jeez, I wonder why. Careful, don't collapse on me. I can't carry you. Oh, Holly, how are you? Are you okay? Yeah, just really worn out. Could use a crazy nap right now. Yeah. If you can go lie down if you want, I'm sure we can take care of all this. And let you out of my sight again? Ha! No. I'm staying right here with you and Sleeping Beauty. Give it. <laughs> so, what now? Wait for help to arrive and hope nobody dies in the meantime. Yeah, but I meant like now, tomorrow, <coughs> future. I don't know. Well, that's a first. We'll have to move. I guess there's no getting rid of Riker now. Cool, Uncle! You could look at it like that, sure. Cool, Uncle! <laughs> and when he marries Laura, I'll have cool aunt. No, no, no. I do! Don't you say that! I've always wanted a large family ever since my parents were taken away by that twister! I'm glad someone's excited. At least someone got what they wanted out of this evening. Excuse me, I think this evening's been a success all around. Just looking at you, I'd say things turned out pretty great. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I still think what you got, what you needed. What would that be, Osage? Hey, Lyle. Yes? Is Chambers fired? Um, Laura, are we firing Chambers? No, we're not, Lyle. Okay, no, we're not. <laughs> Even though he's half a mythical creature? Even though he's half a mythical creature? Still no. Right. Still no. Well, I guess you want to form a family band and travel the country. So you insist? 76 Jumbo need the big praise. It's going to take more than a blunt instrument to stop me. For I am a creature of untold power and nothing can... <laughs> It is a very good umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Chambers? Yeah? What's the hashtag again? You mean the shark symbol? <laughs> Just send me tone up. Okay. Uh. Hey, Chambers! Yeah? What's a semitone? <laughs> it's a half step. Remember that rhyme I taught you? Black to white, white to black, semitones go up and back. If there is no black key in sight, semitones go white to white. <laughs> Cool rhyme. Still confused.